Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline at Pixie Dust PhD. Today we will be looking at Disney Vacation Club at seven month availability aimed for Christmas 2023. If this type of content interests you, I have a whole series of DVC seven month availability on the channel. I will leave links to those videos in the descriptions below. Just like in those videos, we have a few disclaimer for this one. First, we're looking just at one slice in time and this is not necessarily generalizable. Availability of rooms changes often as people adjust their travel plans. And I am not recording this right when bookings are available at 8 a.m. Eastern time. So the availability of rooms this morning may have looked a little bit different. Additionally, to keep this video under an hour, we're going to be moving very quickly. You can adjust your video playback speed via the settings of your YouTube player. Please feel free to slow it down if it would help you. Additionally, feel free to pause whenever you want to really analyze the availability of any given room. Plus, there are timestamps in the description below if you want to skip around to different resorts. For this specific booking request, we will be looking at checking in on Tuesday, December 19th and checking out on Wednesday, December 27th. This would be an eight night vacation that does include Christmas Day. I am recording the seven months in advance of December 19th on May 19th. For Walt Disney World Resorts, this vacation would span two travel periods. The first couple nights will be in travel period three, and then once you hit December 24th, you will be in travel period seven. Out at Disneyland for Villas at Grand California, there are four total travel periods. Part of our booking request will be in travel period two, and then most of it will fall into travel period four. Unlike VGC, Villas at Disneyland Hotel actually generally has seven travel periods. Because this DVC property is not opening until September 2023, there are only three travel periods for 2023, but if you look at 2024, it's seven total travel periods. And in both the 2023 and 2024 points charts, our planned vacation would fall squarely into travel period seven. Unfortunately, at this time, you actually cannot book Villas at Disneyland Hotel online, so I won't be able to show you that availability. But we will definitely include Villas at Disneyland Hotel in future videos in this series. In Hawaii at Aulani, there are four travel periods total, and again, this vacation would span two of those travel periods. The first couple of nights will be in the cheapest travel period, and then most of this trip would be in the most expensive travel period. Vero Beach Resort has five total travel periods, and our requested booking dates would fall into travel period two and travel period five. And finally, Hilton Head has four total travel periods, and our vacation would fall all into travel period two. Let's look at availability. The booking tool automatically populates your home resort first, so we will start with my home resort at Walt Disney World Bay Lake Tower. Right now, the only room fully available for our requested dates is the one bedroom villa at Lakeview. If you wanted to book a longer trip this whole week of Christmas up until New Year's Eve is still available, but if you weren't right on top of this at seven months, it looks pretty patchy. Looking at the other rooms, the two bedroom villa with the Lakeview is almost fully available. So again, had you logged on right at 8 a.m. this morning, seven months from today, December 19th might have been available. The Deluxe Studio Lakeview has five nights. So seven months from today is not available. Interestingly, even though seven months from yesterday is available but Christmas night is already booked out. There's five nights in the two bedroom lock off Villa Lake view. So essentially the same story. Here's the dedicated two bedroom with a theme park view. This is pretty rough. The 22nd is now several days into home resort priority, but Christmas is still available right now. The dedicated two bedroom with a standard view is pretty booked out. Here we've got the one bedroom villa with a theme park view. This also is fairly booked out though. If you had a home resort priority, you could do the 23rd through the 25th, which would not be bad for a very short Christmas jaunt. This is the standard view deluxe studio and that is just super booked. Even most of January is already gone. February and March is okay though. Here we've got that coveted theme park view deluxe studio. Not quite as bad as the standard view and I'd guess that's because it definitely costs a lot more points. But Christmas night is already taken. If you don't have home resort here, this room is pretty booked. Here's the standard view one bedroom villa. Nothing in that seven month time frame in December, just a couple days in November. Here's the two bedroom lock off villa with a theme park view. It's got very bad availability if you don't have home resort priority. We've got the three bedroom grand villa with a lake view. Seven months from today is available as well as Friday, December 22nd and the 24th, 25th. There's just other days taken around here. Here's the standard view two bedroom lock off, super booked. That's rough. And the three bedroom grand villa theme park view. If you had a home resort priority, Christmas Eve is still available, but not a lot otherwise, especially in December at the seven month mark. Not great availability at Bay Lake Tower overall. Next, we're gonna move into some resorts with better availability, starting with Saratoga Springs. So all of these are fully available for our dates requested, which looks like most of the room types, honestly. Here's the Deluxe Studio Standard Room. Even most of November and October are still available. Again, I am recording this in May. And wow, all of August is available, a vast majority of July. Not that hard to stay at Saratoga Springs usually. Here's the Deluxe Studio Preferred Room, still super available for that Christmas time. 
as well as getting into earlier availability if you wanted to travel on shorter term notice. This is the standard one bedroom. All of December is available, almost all of November, all of October, almost all of September, all of August, all of July, almost all of June. You get the trend. Here's the preferred one bedroom villa. Pretty much available. I thought this might be less available than the standard, but I think it might actually be more available by a day or two. Here we've got the two bedroom lock off standard. So this is a little less available, but overall still not bad. And for anyone newer to DVC, just FYI, this first part of December is actually very, very popular for DVC owners. You can see how much the point cost jumps from this early to mid December timeframe and that Christmas week timeframe. But the parks are already all decked out for the holidays in this early December timeframe. So a lot of people love going then. Here's the two bedroom villa standard room. This is the dedicated two bedroom. Really no problems booking this one either. Now we've got the lock off two bedroom preferred, which is a little more booked out. Again, that early December timeframe seems to be very popular, but totally possible to stay here on shorter term notice for sure. Here we have the dedicated two bedroom preferred room, very available. No worries with that one. And this is the Treehouse Villa, super available. All of December is still available. Most of November, majority of October, September, all of August, almost all of July. So what's missing are the three bedroom grand villas then. And most of these nights are available. So for the standard three bedroom, it was exactly seven months from today, which is interesting because not seven months from yesterday. But had you booked this right away at 8 a.m. this morning, this might have worked out for you. And here's the three bedroom preferred. So seven months from today is available, but not seven months from tomorrow. So this highlighted portion is now all in home resort owner priority. A couple days from now, once you're seven months from the 21st or 22nd, maybe you would be able to snag this, only time will tell. But yeah, if you wanted to stay at Saratoga Springs for Christmas, it looks like that is a decent possibility. And New Year's Eve is still well within that home resort priority time, but for now that seems okay too. Next, we've got Old Key West, which also tends to have quite a lot of availability. And looking here, yep, most of the rooms are available. It seems like it's again gonna be the grand villas that are not. So here's your deluxe studio availability. Oh, the first half of December for this deluxe studio is pretty booked up, but that week before Christmas is pretty much available. So if you wanted to book a longer trip and you were able to do it seven months in advance of the week before Christmas, you could extend that trip through Christmas just fine. In the nearer term, it seems like this is not nearly as available as Saratoga Springs. Looking at the one bedroom, this looks pretty good for December and November and October, most of September, all of August. So yeah, this room's pretty dang available. Here's the one bedroom near the hospitality house, available for our requested dates, but less available earlier in December. Here's the two bedroom lock off, again, available for when we're looking at, but less available for that early December timeframe. The dedicated two bedroom villa, Pretty good. This first week of December is taken, but the rest of December is fine. Most of November is fine. All of October is available. A vast majority of September. And then again, all of August, all of July, almost all of June still. And the two bedroom villa near the hospitality house. Not the best availability for old Key West we've seen, but it's not bad at all. So we should be seeing grand villas and maybe some other things near the hospitality house that are not fully available. So yes, the deluxe studio near the hospitality house was not available seven months from today on December 19th, but otherwise looking okay. So you might have been able to snag this this morning. The two bedroom lock off villa near the hospitality house will mirror that same trend. Then we've got our three bedroom grand villa near the hospitality house, totally booked out for all of December already. Most of January is booked. Almost all of February is booked. Almost all of March is booked. You have to really get to April even. So this is a competitive room that if you really want to be able to book this, you probably want home resort priority. And here's the three bedroom grand villa, not as booked out in a home resort owner priority as the one that's near the hospitality house. But if you don't have home ownership, especially if you're trying to stay for a long stretch of nights at a peak time like holidays, this is going to be tough to snag. Next, we have Disney's Vero Beach Resort. So it looks like most of these rooms are available as well. Here's the deluxe in-room standard view. All of December is still available. Here is the deluxe studio villa. Again, all of December is available. We've got the ocean view deluxe in-room. Almost all of December is available. A little patchier availability in the nearer term though. 
Here's your one bedroom villa. Again, all of December is available, but November and October are looking pretty rough, so it seems like you want to book this at least six months out. This is the two bedroom lock-off villa. December is looking good, but it's a similar story if you're looking at less than six months in advance. And the dedicated two bedroom villa, so it actually is fully booked out on December 18th, which would have been seven months from yesterday but otherwise December is looking pretty good there. Let's look at the rooms that are not fully available. It is just this three bedroom beach cottage, which is super booked. If you have home resort owner priority, I think booking this room is not a problem, but I do tend to see at the seven month mark, it is hard to get this three bedroom beach cottage. Next resort we've got is Hilton Head Island. All of the rooms are totally available. So here is what the deluxe studio availability looks like. Very good in December, not so good otherwise. This is the one bedroom at Hilton Head. Again, pretty good for December, even that time right after Thanksgiving, otherwise not much. Now we're looking at the two bedroom villa. So all of December is available and definitely more time in November than the other rooms. But it seems like you'll probably wanna be on this around six months in advance. And finally, the three bedroom grand villa. I'm pretty surprised to see this fully available. It tends to be hard to get grand villas at the seven month mark, so that's neat. All right, moving on, we've got Kadani Village at Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas. So here there's only two rooms fully available. It's your one bedroom with a standard view, which we'll look at first. So that first full week in December is taken, but the rest of December looks fine. Heck, you could even stay in this room starting Thanksgiving night still. And then moving on to the Savannah View one bedroom villa. December is pretty similar to the standard view. Oh, you would still stay prior to Thanksgiving here. You could start November 22nd. Wow. Let's take a look at what was not available. So a lot of these are mostly available. The Deluxe Studio Standard View is available except for seven months exactly from today. So again, had you got up this morning to try to book this, you may have been able to. And the Savannah View is the same story. I would expect that the two bedroom lock-offs will look similar. So yep, not available starting December 19th, but otherwise available for our requested dates. Here's the lock-off Savannah view, exactly what we were expecting, just not available seven months from today. This is the two bedroom villa with the Savannah view, which is available seven months from today, exactly on December 19th, but it is not available for the following nights on December 20th and 21st. So this highlighted portion is several days in a home resort owner priority here, which tells me this might be hard to snag by the time we get to Christmas. This is the dedicated two bedroom with the standard view, even worse than the Savannah view. It's possible that these nights stay available by the time we get to seven months before December 23rd, but I wouldn't count on it. And I'm expecting the Grand Villas to be pretty booked. Here we've got the Savannah view Grand Villa, which yeah, Christmas night is already gone. And this is the standard view Grand Villa, which again, Christmas night's already gone. Moving along, we have Disney's Boardwalk Villas, which does have one room type fully available. It is your one bedroom villa with a garden or pool view. So starting seven months from yesterday, you could book out the back half of December, but the boardwalk is very popular and quite competitive. So I'm not surprised to see the front half of December is already gone. Almost all of November and October are booked. September's pretty booked out. A lot of availability in July and August though, if you wanted to head down in a couple months. And let's take a look at all the other room types. This is the standard view one bedroom villa now. So not available seven months from today, but otherwise okay. So you might have been able to snag this if you were trying to book this morning. Moving down in size to the Lux Studio, this is the garden or pool view, very not available. I would guess these rooms are gonna get booked up between now and when you might be able to book them at the seven month mark. Back up to the one bedroom size, we're now at the boardwalk view, almost nothing left in December. And even there's quite a lot of January and February gone too. Now we're at the two bedroom lock off garden or pool view, mirroring availability of other rooms we've seen, it's unlikely you'll be able to book this at the seven month mark for Christmas. Here is the Standard View Deluxe Studio, which you could stay the night of Christmas, but nothing else in December, nothing in November, nothing in January or February. Almost all of March is already gone. And the two bedroom lock-off villa Standard View, I'm expecting to look like the studio. So yes, you could stay Christmas night. That's about it. Here we've got the three bedroom grand villa with a boardwalk view. Nothing, the week of Christmas is already totally gone. Beginning of January is already gone. Not a lot here. This is the Boardwalk View Deluxe Studio. There is one single night in December, Saturday, December 30th, but otherwise nothing in November or January, just a couple nights in February and most of March is already taken. 
And finally for boardwalk, we've got the two bedroom lock off of the boardwalk view again, December 30th, pretty much nothing else. Boardwalk is definitely a tricky one to snag if you're traveling during more popular times. Next, we've got Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. So of course the bungalow is fully available because this would cost almost 1300 vacation points. The time right around American Thanksgiving is now booked though, which I know that is still six months away, but it is kind of rare to see the bungalows booked out this far in advance. Like if we scroll backwards, you can see all of October is available. Actually, September is fairly booked out, but this is the cheapest time you can stay in a bungalow, so I'm not that surprised. All of August is available. Almost all of July is available. And there's still good chunks of time in June. So that means both of the studios are not fully available. This is the standard View Deluxe Studio. This is close. It's not available seven months from today and not any other part of December either, but... I think you stand a shot maybe of getting this seven months in advance if you're really on top of things. The nearer term doesn't look great though. Funnily, these Tuesdays in October are available. And moving on, we've got the Lakeview Deluxe Studio, less available than the standard view for when we were looking. You're a solid three days in a home resort priority here, so I would expect that this is gonna start to go away before you have your seven month chance, honestly. And moving along, we've got Disney's Riviera Resort. There is one room type that's fully available. It's the one bedroom villa preferred view. And actually most of December is still available in general. Still a decent chunk of November, almost all of October. September's not great, but then yeah, all of August, almost all of July. This is a pretty available room. Let's look at all of the other room types then. We'll start with a preferred view deluxe studio. This was close. Seven months from today is not available right now, but it might have been this morning. And then interestingly, December 27th is already booked out. But this morning, if the 19th was available, ostensibly you could have booked the 19th through the 26th, and that would have been pretty close to what we requested. It would definitely at least get you through Christmas. This is the standard view one bedroom villa. So yeah, just seven months from today, not seven months from yesterday. I think you could probably have okay luck with this room. Moving up in size, we've got the preferred view two bedroom lock off. Same deal with December 19th and December 27th being taken. Now we have the two bedroom dedicated with a preferred view. So December 19th was booked, but nothing else in our booking request. On to the standard view dedicated two bedroom villa. December 19th was booked and also the 26th and 27th. So this one's a little bit more in demand than some of the other rooms we've seen for our booking dates. But you could still sleep here on Christmas night. You would check out on the 26th. So this would be an okay Christmas trip, assuming that this availability holds tomorrow when it's seven months from the 20th. The two-person tower studio is super booked. The night of Christmas is available, but the rest of December is kind of a joke. All of November is already gone. All of September is gone. I'm guessing because this is the cheapest room they offer, it gets booked out pretty fast. Good for folks who are solo travelers or travel is just two people. Here's availability for the three-bedroom grand villa at Riviera. Christmas Eve and Christmas night are still available, but of course you're well into home resort owner priority there, but otherwise December's not looking great. Now we've got the standard view deluxe studio. Other than those tower studios, this should be the next cheapest room type. So I'm not surprised to see this being very booked out. And finally, the two bedroom lock off villa with a standard view should look like the standard view deluxe studio. And yes, very in demand room. But hey, the availability for the one bedroom villa preferred room is pretty good. Off to Hawaii, we will now look at Aulani and there's one room type fully available. That is the Ocean View one bedroom villa. Almost all of December is still available. You can see that time leading up to New Year's Eve is already booked out by homeowners. If you're looking to book this five months in advance or so, at least for the October, November, December timeframe, you'll probably be okay. And now we will look at all of the other rooms. Starting with the Islands Garden View Deluxe Studio. This was close to fully available. It's not seven months from today. And then again, December 26th and 27th are booked but you could stay ostensibly through Christmas night if this availability holds beginning tomorrow. Here we've got the Ocean View Deluxe Studio. So this is available until Christmas, but Christmas is already booked out. The Ocean View Two Bedroom Lock Off Villa mirrors that same pattern as the Ocean View Deluxe Studio. Here we've got an Ocean View Two Bedroom Dedicated, which is available at the beginning of our booking request, but starting Christmas Eve, it's gone. This last full week of December and New Year's Eve are already fully booked out. This is the dedicated two bedroom villa with the poolside gardens view. And yeah, similar to what we just saw, Christmas through New Year's Eve is totally booked out. Here we've got the three bedroom grand villa with the ocean view. 
It's not as fully booked, but if you were hoping to stay here for Christmas or New Year's Eve, I don't think that's going to be a possibility. Back down to the one bedroom size, this is the poolside gardens view. Right now, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th are still available, but you're several days in a homeowner resort priority, so I don't have much hopes about this room. And for that Island Gardens View one bedroom villa, December 24th is already taken as well as every day in December after Christmas. Here we've got the two bedroom lock off with an Island's Garden View. Very similar story. Christmas is available, but that's kind of it. In the dedicated two bedroom Island's Garden View, December 25th onward is booked out already. This is the standard view one bedroom villa. Couldn't really string together a Christmas trip for that one. And at the Standard View Deluxe Studio, Christmas Night is available, but pretty much nothing else. For the Poolside Gardens View Deluxe Studio, December 22nd through 26th is already booked out, so that's the prime window around Christmas, totally reserved. And availability is even worse than the dedicated two-bedroom villa with a standard view. If you want to go in the beginning half of December, a lot of these rooms look good, but definitely not for the back half. Here we've got the lock-off two-bedroom villa with a Poolside Garden View. Not looking good right around Christmas. This is the hotel room with the standard view, which December 18th onward is totally booked out. There's six nights available in January and a handful in February and March, but until you get to April, really, not good availability. So this room seems like you might need home resort priority. And the standard view two bedroom lock off villa from December 15th onward is booked out. And then we've got the three bedroom grand villa with the standard view, which all of December and January and February and March and April are booked. The entire home resort owner priority is already booked. Wow, there's not a single night available for this room. If you want to do Christmas in Alani, I would suggest a home resort contract based on these findings. Back to Walt Disney World, we'll now look at Beach Club Villas, and much to my surprise, there is one room fully available for our booking dates. It is the one bedroom villa. Yeah, and the back half of December looks pretty okay here. Looking at the other room types, let's start with the two bedroom villa. December 21st through the 26th are available to homeowners. My gut says this availability will be different once we hit the seven month mark, but I could be wrong. Here's the deluxe studio. We've got Christmas Eve and Christmas day available if you do have home resort owner priority. But again, I'm guessing that will change as we get closer to seven months from those days. And then the two bedroom lock off villa should look pretty similar. Yep, Christmas Eve and Christmas day, but not much else. Like Boardwalk, Beach Club is very popular and quite competitive. Over in the Magic Kingdom area, we'll now look at Boulder Ridge Villas. There is one room type fully available for our requested dates here. Again, it's the one bedroom. Starting December 17th, actually the entire back half of December is still available, including Christmas Eve, Christmas, and New Year's Eve. Looking at the two bedroom villa, it is currently available from December 21st through the 25th, but I think at seven months, your chances of snagging this room are probably slim. The deluxe studio I'm expecting to be very booked, and yes, there's <laughs> two nights in December, the 21st and 22nd, and that's it. And the two bedroom lock off villa should share some of the same problems as the deluxe studio, exactly the same, December 21st and 22nd. Next up is Jumbo House at the Animal Kingdom Villas, and no rooms are fully available for your selected dates. The one bedroom value is available for seven nights, though, it says. You could actually stay starting seven months from today, December 19th through Christmas, and then check out on the 26th. And this is a value room. I'm very surprised to see this available. I think this is a huge steal. It's 166 vacation points. If you go back through this video and look at other one bedroom villas, they usually cost a lot, lot more than this. The Savannah View Deluxe Studio is available for five nights, but starting into home resort owner priority and ending on December 27th. Here is the standard view one bedroom, already booked December 24th, 25th, 26th, etc. Already booked New Year's Eve. We've got the Savannah View one bedroom villa, and this is available for Christmas time, not available for New Year's Eve. But again, you're well into home resort owner priority, so I'm not sure that this will hold. For that two bedroom lock off villa with the Savannah View, right now, December 23rd through December 26th is available. You're still four days off though from seven months or the 23rd, so this may change dramatically in the next couple days. Here we've got the three bedroom grand villa with the Savannah view. December 26th and 27th are available as well as the 22nd, but not Christmas itself and definitely not New Year's Eve. And now we're into room types that are totally waitlist only. There are no nights available. Here we've got the value accommodation studio, which is pretty much fully booked out. There's a few days left very close to the 11 month mark, but otherwise this is not a room I would ever expect to get without a home resort contract. 
Here is the Standard View Deluxe Studio, so you could stay December 29th and 30th, but that's kind of it for December. The Club Concierge Deluxe Studio, similar to value accommodations, I would never expect to get this room without a home resort contract. The value two bedroom lock off, close to 100% booked. Here's the standard two bedroom lock off, bad in December, including New Year's Eve, but not as bad if you have home resort owner priority. And the last two rooms are club concierge, so this is the one bedroom. Oh, almost all of March is still available, color me surprised. And then the two bedroom lock off club room, next to nothing. Out in Disneyland, this is Villas at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel. I'm not surprised to see no availability here. I am surprised to see seven nights of availability for the one bedroom villa, just not seven months from today. So if you were really on top of booking, you might have been able to snag this. And the two bedroom villa is actually exactly the same story. It's not available seven months from today, but otherwise the back half of December, all technically in a home resort owner priority at this point, but it is bookable in principle. The Deluxe Studio only has December 22nd, 23rd, and 26th available, so nothing for Christmas itself. The two bedroom lock-off villa will be the same story. And the three bedroom grand villa is available December 22nd and 26th, 27th, but not Christmas, not New Year's Eve. This overall availability for villas at Grand California was actually a lot better than I was braced for, but of course this is still extremely hard to book. Next, we've got the villas at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. So back in Walt Disney World, no rooms are fully available for our selected dates. The Resort Studio Lagoon view is pretty close. It's not available on December 19th and 20th. So we are a couple days in a home resort priority here, but this is maybe a possibility. And this is the one bedroom villa standard view, which is available December 20th through 25th. So the 26th and 27th are already gone. And seven months from today on the 19th is gone but this also feels like it might be a possibility. The Theme Park View Resort Studio is booked from December 1st through December 22nd. It is still available for New Year's Eve, interestingly. But yeah, all of this in December is well into home resort owner priority, so that it could change a ton by the time you get to seven months out from those days. The one bedroom Lake View Villa is available December 22nd through 25th, but not much else. New Year's Eve is already gone. Here's the Lake View two bedroom villa. Again, still available the 22nd through 25th, but I would not be surprised to see those rooms go as we get closer to seven months from those days. Here we've got the Lakeview three bedroom grand villa. December 24th through 27th is already booked. New Year's Eve is already booked. This is the Lakeview Deluxe Studio. So the 24th and 25th are available for folks with homeowner priority, but overall December is looking pretty bad. I wouldn't count on it at seven months. The two bedroom lock off lake views, very similar story to the deluxe studio lake view. This is the availability for the dedicated two bedroom villa with a standard view. December 22nd through 25th are already booked. Here we've got the standard view deluxe studio. Our entire requested booking dates are already booked as well as December 31st. The resort studio standard view is almost fully booked for all of December. There is one night left well into home resort owner priority. This is interesting because these rooms have been pretty available at times, but it seems like they've picked up in popularity and are now quite booked out. And the two bedroom lock off villa with a standard view should look like the deluxe studio standard view. Very not available. A lot of people really love the holiday time decor and vibes at Grand Floridian, so I'm not surprised to see December, generally speaking, very booked. And I believe this will be our last resort. It's Copper Creek Villas and Cabins. A good portion of our booking request is available for the Deluxe Studio. December 20th was already fully booked, which falls within our range. So you could book seven months from today, but not seven months from tomorrow. Next greatest availability is the cabin, which starting December 21st is still fully available. Again, it's just so many points. So the cabin, like the bungalow, tends to not be as hard to book as other room types. One bedroom availability at Copper Creek is pretty bad. Christmas is already taken as is New Year's Eve. This is the two bedroom lock off villa, very few days left in December. Here's your dedicated two bedroom villa, again, very few days left in December. The time from Christmas through January 1st is already taken. Then we've got the three bedroom grand villa, which is available Christmas Eve and Christmas, but again, you're well into home resort owner priority there. New Year's Eve is already fully booked. 
Here's the deluxe studio with the walk-in shower instead of with the shower tub combo. Other than December 29th, December is booked. And then the two bedroom Malacca villa with a walk-in shower, again, instead of the shower tub combo is 100% booked in December. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please do remember to like the video as well as subscribe to the channel. You can then ring the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I post new videos. All these free actions, your engagement on YouTube are really helpful, but if you want other ways to support the channel, you can tip me on Ko-Fi or shop through my Amazon Associates link. Information for those are in the description below. Christmas time is one of the busiest times at Walt Disney World, so I'm not at all surprised to see poor availability. That being said, there were still several rooms that were totally available, so it's not impossible to book at seven months. Saratoga Springs and Old Key West were quite available, in fact. And if your travel party size is small enough to fit in a one bedroom and you have enough points to pay for a one bedroom, that may be your best strategy. Even with a smaller contract between banking and borrowing, if you're willing to combine three use years worth of points into one trip, I do think you can make a one bedroom at Christmas time probably work. If you are hoping to snag a villa for the holiday season, I wish you the very best of luck. May the rest of your day be magical, and we'll see you real soon at Pixie S PhD.